Hello dear students of uh, business economics, please welcome to today's economics session and uh, again from the point of view of examination which is going to come next month for you. So from the examination point of view, I would like to start with the lesson number 4. Already lesson number 3 I have sent audio and videos, uh, so kindly read and revise and now today I should take up economics, types of economies. Today I shall take up lesson number 4, types of economies. But before telling you what are the types of economies, I would like to help you to understand what is the definition of an economy. Institutional framework within which economic interactions take place in a country is known as an economy. That is, in an economy, econ the economy takes its form when there are economic interactions taking place in economic interactions taking place and when economic interaction takes place that results in the formation of an economy so economic interactions economic interactions within an economy is called as defined as an economy economy can be in the form of a government it can be in the form of a firm or it can be in the form of an economy itself it can be in the form of an economy itself Therefore, for interactions, economic interactions to take place within an economy, two elements are very vital. One is the producers and another is the consumers. Another is the consumers. So, an economy, therefore an economy is a sum total of cooperation of producers who produce goods and services to satisfy consumers. So, ultimately, the definition of an economy boils down to the third point. Boils down to the third point where interaction takes place between an producer and a consumer. Okay. Now, what are the types of economies? Now, there are eight types of economies. That is simple economy, complex economy, agrarian economy, industrial economy, developed, developing, capitalistic and socialistic. And each one of these we will be discussing separately. But before discussing this, we should know how the economy, how how the how how, how the uh, how the economies are classified. How the economies are classified. Economies are classified based on two vital points: based on economic development and nature of economic system. Nature of economic system. Okay. From development point of view, we can classify an economy as developed economy and developing economy. Developing economy means that economy is not developed, it is underdeveloped but with the process of development. Okay. Then from economic system point of view, we can classify an economy as capitalistic economy, socialistic economy and a mixed economy. Mixed economy. Now, each economy has its own features. Now, features of various types of economies. Now, how are the features of various types of economies uh, Economies understood? Now, United Nations has classified economies into two types, developed and developing economy. Similarly, World Bank in the year 2018 published a journal called World Development Indicator. World Development Indicator. And what was the indicator? The indicator was GNI. What is GNI? Gross National Income. What is Gross National Income? That is the whole sum total of income earned by individuals within an economy plus the flow of income from abroad into our country is called the gross national income is the gross national income so according to the indicator gni world bank classified the economies into uh, countries into the three uh, three categories three categories so the first category so the first category is low income category so the first category is low income uh, countries, the second category is middle income countries and the third category is high income countries. Now let us see what is this low, middle income and high income countries. Low income countries have a per capita income at 995 US dollars or lesser. So any economy that has the per capita income of 995 or less than that based on US dollars is categorized as low income countries. Then you have middle income countries with the GNI per capita between 995 and 12,055 US dollars. 
So, in, so the country that falls between 995 and 12,025 uh, US dollars is categorized as middle income countries and the high income countries has a GNI uh, per capita income of more than 12,000 uh, 12,056, 12,000 has uh, per capita income of 12,056 or more than that, more than that. So that category of countries are, uh, are, are, are called as high income countries. So we have low income, middle income countries, high income countries. Now, low income and middle income countries, these countries are known as developing countries. These countries are known as developing countries. And the next one is high income country that is called as developed countries. High income countries are called as developed countries. According to 2015 statistics, high income countries, we find that it has 16% of the world population, but it has the GNI of 65%. It has a GNI of 65%. Whereas the developing countries, which has a population of 80, which has 85 percent of the world population has a GNI of only 35 percent. So this clearly shows that 16 percent of the population, that is less percentage of population, contributed more GNI, whereas high percentage of population contributed less GNI. Less GNI. Now, India, where does India, uh, now where does India fall? India accounts for 17 percent of the world population, 17 percent of the world population, the whole world, India accounts for 17 percent and with a pathetic 2.7 percent of GNI, with a pathetic 2.7 percent of the GNI. So India falls in the category of lower middle income, lower in, in middle income with a GNI percentage of GNI per capita income of US dollars 1820 in 2017. 2017. I hope students you must have understood these basic points. Now I am going to the next segment that is developed and developing economies. How can you classify an economy as developed or developing? So if UN classifies an economy as a developed or a developing economy based on one specific important indicator that is per capita income. What is per capita income? Income per head. Income per head is called per capita income. So, per capita income is the most important indicator of a, of a, of a indicator to say whether a country is developed or developing. If a country's per capita income is very high, it automatically means it is a developed country and if it is a developed country, it automatically means the standard of living is very high. Examples are US, Canada, New Zealand, Japan, Western European countries, they all fall in the category of high per capita income. So till here I stop today children, I shall discuss tomorrow.